Welcome everybody to Dungeons and Dragons, the tower of bringing a fucking bad musical game brought to you by musical Paladin. I am your dungeon master, the thick baby, but let's just get right into the game. Sorry, my mic was muted that entire time. You can loot it if you want. Yeah. Dubby, I do need you back here for the loot. Yep, I will, I will get off the and, uh, I guess yeah, let's get nature check. The, the, the sweet was uh, isn't really investigation, so I think we no, we go, we go nature checks for all of our loot. Yeah. I just like to make it broad, yeah. Well, one second. Give him a log. I'll die. <laughs> I'll fucking die. We've already given a log to uh. Oh man. Broadman or Grunthor? I can't. Or not Grunthor. I can't. Okay, Sebastian. Sebastian. Yeah. Sebastian Thank you. Yes. Yeah. I'm so sorry, Staley. I know this is your first time ever playing Dungeons and Dragons. Ross, who is Sean's character, has this kind of power over. From his sponsor that he must call himself Sebastian and talk in a third person. Yeah. I did notice I had a log as well. Was his, tongue still yeah. <laughs> his tongue is not swollen anymore. Okay. All right. So he rolled an eight to loot that log. And you or to loot that wood tile. <laughs> the log that no one was trying to cut down last game. <laughs> Specifically <laughs> <laughs> well, hello, Jim and Joe. How you doing out there? Well, I hope you guys enjoy the stream. Well, that was a bunch of goofballs over here. Sorry, we got a delayed start today. A little chaotic. But while we're quiet, why don't I just tell you, we have merch out now, and I think some of you have seen it already. We've been showing it off. I'm wearing one of them. It's got our logo on the front with the sweatshirt, and then on the back, it's got all of us animated as characters. But yeah. Oh, you want me to spin around here? Yeah. Oh, it's because I'm well, three well, again. Well, Friday again. Oh, yeah, you're looking good in the backside, baby. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> we'll show them off more on some of our other streams, but uh, yeah, we have a website. You guys can head over. I'm pretty sure it's on the bio of our Twitch page, our YouTube page, everything. Go to our link tree. It's all linked to the website. Yep. Yeah, and you could buy them there. And if you're local in Michigan, we can, or close by in Michigan, I would say, we can get them to you, bring them to you kind of thing. There's a local option on the website, and then there's a shipping option that you can do. Yeah, that's, well, but... There, you can't uh, buy it locally on there anymore. Okay. You can buy it locally if you see uh, anybody from the news store. And then um, online, the website, you'll be able to purchase and order them uh, basically right after the stream. 
All right. All right. We're not going to try to talk to you. So Rivera. Yes, so I didn't know our DMs. All right. Rivera rolled an eight to loot those logs. Hmm? You're getting a blood root. Wait, a a blood, blood root. Okay. I will. I'll, he can be a little loose around one over there. Loot as many piles of logs as he would like. Was there any additional tents so far that we have yet to scurry our way through? You guys have gone in uh, one tent and two huts, I believe. Okay. So They're in the bottom left hut. You guys cleared out that tent. I just have Ratman sitting there because it was marking it. So you guys still have two tents and... Eight. No, because you guys cleared out that hut, didn't you? Yeah. I believe you have two tents left. Cool, so we have two tents to go. Because you guys... Or no, because you guys are going to go one tent. You have two huts left. Let me get this straight. They didn't go into any of these tents up here. Yeah, those two over there, I don't remember. And so two tents, one hut left. Two tents, one hut. Okay. Two tents, one hut. Great oh, video. Just fired it. Yeah. <laughs> Please. Please. Right. Right. Yeah, I'm going to look over to, to Daddy and Rivera and ask if they want to help me check out this tent over here to our left. Yeah, I'm just going to get them all done. So let's, let's all right. Go. All right. All right, you guys are moving this way. They were all in uh, the bottom tent, the bottom middle tent. No, we didn't. We didn't follow them. Yeah, no, we were like, we're uh, so you guys are going. You did this I, you one. Know, I think we should stay in one group. We get screwed every time. <laughs> no, no, let's learn from our. You were going group. to a tent, like, right? Yeah. You guys agree? We're not with you, we can't. We'll call this one. Yeah, yeah talk to those people. Well, we're already walking in. In theory, I agree. Yeah. 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 In theory. <laughs> <laughs> it's Maybe we should go after our group so we can progress. We need side quests, I figure. Let me throw you guys on here. Um, it's rough. It's wide open, though. I don't know if I like that. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure if I do either. When I say we got Danny. I mean, I'm down to go back out and go try to bust the rest of the group. I mean, they did turn me away from their door last night when we were trying to rest. But well, today is a new day. So she, they literally knew who it was that knocked me at the door. You and you said, wait, which one who was? Rivera <laughs> because Frogman oh. was like, it's great. Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> Why'd you do that, by the way? You literally just went, those fuckers, and you left us for dead outside. You were not dead. You you were bleeding very like pitifully. I thought you'd be fine. I did I I not. You do that all the time. I figured just. I didn't. Have, I didn't have any more trash to plug the wounds. So, well, yeah, we can go look for the rest of them. I like that. Vic? All right, this is what you see when you walk in. Uh -oh. Yeah, we don't see anybody, so it looks like we're not being ganked at least on our way in. We're we're thinking of who found the way. I follow. think we should probably follow. Yeah, yeah. Right, I'm gonna be daddy. We should probably find that. Yeah. We keep falling down. <laughs> yeah. Let Let's go find that girl. Are, are, are we following daddy? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's fucking scary. <laughs> All right, so you guys are going back to your other group. Daddy. I think it's the best idea. Daddy. All right. Daddy. 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 My husband has a Chinese surname, and his family name is Daddy. I just All right. All right. Mm -hmm. Are we? What's up, uh, Jadik? Yeah. I, I don't know how to say your name. So, <laughs> so, I'm not necessarily wrong. Jadaki? Jadashi? Okay. Jadik, hi. All right, so this is where the other team was. You guys were in the tent. You had, I don't think you had started looting most of it yet. You had looted all the goblin bodies. You had looted all the goblin bodies, but I don't think you actually looted the bases or anything. I think you're correct. I love Okay. We have an excellent question from this side of the table. Do we actually know which tent these, the rest of the party went into? Yes. Yes, because I think you guys all, you were in the battle or you saw them go into battle and you heard the drums and everything, and then That's afterwards right. you guys were all like, we're going somewhere else. Um, this ball game. Yeah. All right, so the, you guys are back in the tent. I'm not going to throw your characters on here because it'll take too long. Oh, yeah, it's an empty right. tent. What are we doing? Well, I'm going to let these guys or grab it. So we got a couple other tents that we haven't walked through yet. I, I don't think we're fully rested. I think we're only halfway through. Did we do a short no, rest? No, you did a full rest. You did a full rest? You did a full rest. Okay. Kind of odd in the full rest that there's anybody here. They wouldn't attack us on our sleep. Yeah. But we were hired to do a job to clean out this whole village. We got a couple tents left that we haven't ventured through yet. You guys want to come with so we don't accidentally, you know, almost die a billion times like we did last night? 
Happy with the pod? Yeah. I'm fine with that. All right, I'm going to loop the top two lines over on the right side. Alright, let's get the <laughs> let's get a nature roll for each one. It's always a D20. You don't want to <laughs> Alright, Jill. Never mind. Roll a D eight for us, sorry. Yep. Now roll the 20 nature check. I did roll a nine, and you were like, never mind. No, nah, I take the six. A bird's feather? Bird's feather. Do, do I know what color? Blue. Oh, good, I was hoping it was blue. Just put bird's feather in that parentheses blue. <laughs> It didn't make nothing. Yeah, but it, it, it might make it may... excited. Right, my bike flew. Fair, fair. All right, and then the second one. Roll a DA for us. Oh, right. That's you. All right. Each one. Nature check. Another six. Six flat. Do you have any nature? Show me a seven. Now you're on six. Now, if you touch your mushrooms to get. Oh, no. <laughs> I don't tell you how to live your lives. <laughs> All right, anybody else doing anything? <laughs> I like it. Frogman, Frogman uh, turned into like something. <laughs> it went from some like high grogginess to this new Sebastian. <laughs> <laughs> Say number. Yep, let's get a D8. And then a nature check with a D20. So Jill has looted two of the top right ones, and Ember has done the top left. So there's two in the top right, one in the bottom right. All right. Let's get a strength check on you first. So D20. And then add your strength modifier to it, which is just like a plus one or two, whatever. Oh, yeah, you obliterate. <laughs> yeah, roll a DA for us. You get a damaged cast tongue. <laughs> you you swung through this thing a little too much and kind of squished it, but it's a little salvageable. You kind of just scoop it up in your hands and it's just mush. <laughs> That was pretty on par with Sean's character to just break a base. <laughs> I hear them calling Buzz, so I throw a dash around the fence that he's flying. At him? At the boss. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, roll for... 
Let's just get a dexterity roll. Let's just see what you do. Yeah. That is going to be one. Uh, roll a d8 for us. You get a uh, a blood root, but it's completely fractured in half. Fla fractured blood root. Yeah, but your dagger went through that thing and shot it into the wall. Just completely in half. Black fractured blood root. On the top one? Yeah. Okay. Roll for it. He's building a whole <laughs> man. <laughs> It's just like they found the Baldur Gate. Eventually, you're gonna find Adam Cena. <laughs> 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 Do you want to hear the verse? Anybody else? Um. So is that just a rope, or can you like go behind? Is that a curtain? It's just a rope hanging down for the tent. Yeah. Is the rope able to be taken? You could so take down the tent. Is that rope? I'm going to look at it and say, but just so you know, you're... Do you roll for it? Or can I just loot it? All right. Sorry, we had to, we had to discuss. Uh, yeah, go ahead and give me a strength pull on the rope. D20. As she's doing this, I'm just going to say out loud, from experience, your neck's going to be much too thick for that rope. You're going to be standing with that for a minute. So I got a six. Is that just a, a nine? So I got a ten. You pull on this rope, but you just kind of keep slipping on it. You're not quite getting it down. It's pretty sturdy up there. And you see that it's tied to the top of the tent somewhere. Well, then I'm down to leave this room. I get pissed. <laughs> <laughs> so if he's leaving the room, I guess we're gonna follow. Think we're gonna go to that tent. Yeah, that's all right. It looks like we're going. Then we're heading for the tent. You wanted to go back to the tent that you. The big open one. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Plenty of fish for us to do whoever yeah, wants to tag right. along with. Now's your chance. Get y'all getting. Is yeah. everybody going with? I'm going with you. All right. I'm going with you guys. I learned, I learned my lesson from the last couple sessions. <laughs> 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 All right, let me get everybody in here. Hold on. Last couple sessions where people just leave and don't say anything. That is a two week kind of situation. Yeah, mm -hmm. every single. Time. It only took a whole campaign and some extra <laughs> to learn that lesson. <laughs> All right, who do we got? Daddy's in there. Ember's in there. Frogman. Wait, who are your <laughs> 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 Wow. <laughs> Inspiration points now. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, and we're missing Ross. And then I'll and then I'll I can't say that. And then you say me. You know how you have you know how people have filler words? Yeah. I'd be like, but, All right. but, <laughs> me, it was a weird thing. And then somebody pointed it out to me, and they're like, you know what you're saying? What, what am I saying? Out front, out front, we have Ross leading the pack. Uh, Who wants to move first? I'm going to try to... Can we get around, Ross? Uh, everybody's in except for Ember and Daddy I have in the back because they're kind of the range support. Back. I'm going to try to slink my way across the back right wall like, and then just go towards... I 
So I put those tables over there. Yeah. So I'm gonna try to hug the wall to try to like keep myself a little yeah, bit. Yeah, let's zoom out just slightly more. If you just walk along the wall, don't worry about the white box. Just uh, yeah, and then map I'm, gonna, I'm gonna keep going and like loop myself like around the tables. And, yeah. All right, let me. That white box. Oh, let's you. get a sneak on you. It's a smart. It's just a screenshot. That's my. Mind. Yeah. That's my bad. That's going to be a. Let's put it there. Let's put it there. Thirteen. Let's roll for initiative, boys. All right, we got initiative, Jim. Give me one sec. Uh, seven. Eight. Give me a second. Write down everybody's name. Uh, one. Yeah. Is it a nat one? Me just gonna have a one. If, you, if you're rolling on initiative, you get initiative bonuses when you roll a one. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, so, so I was just trying to have the nat one of maybe you have a negative. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, yeah. 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 Nap one. Give me a second. Anga. Um, Rivera. Twelve. Danny. Eight. 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 She's just like, he's fucking terrible at this. <laughs> what do you say? Don't make me a liar with the stream that you guys finished level one today. <laughs> the, the description says the team finishes level one and moves on to level two today. <laughs> Give, give us some inspiration points to throw ideas. <laughs> 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 at least we at least pulled over like over ten on some of these initiatives. That's already better than like. No, I'm just saying I got the pants. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yep. Yeah, we got to get the pants. Yeah. 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 Ye
I'm, there's no way that's I'm not even gonna measure it. There's no way it's thirty. <laughs> All right. Um, let me cross that out. Ember. Yeah, you can actually move diagonal. You don't have oh, to I, jump. Oh, yeah. Okay. Can I go? I guess that's just the next. Yeah. Let's go. Like, that'll be yeah, thirty feet right there. All right, let's get it. Where did I put the shit? I don't um, have my goblin shit pointed out. Yes. Yeah. Why do I not have a ring? Yet? Uh, there it is. Right. You miss. All right. Let's go, Rivera. Rivera. I am now wearing Goblin Armor, so I'm going to go ahead and move my full movement that direction. Wait. Open up the gap. Yeah, let's go. 15's there. Let me zoom out slightly so you can see. God damn, why does it keep doing that? All right. That's 15. You want to keep going? or? Uh, I mean, uh, as a player, I see them at the edge of my vision, but mm. as Rivera, I see at the edge of the vision. Rivera can make out the two goblins on the edge of his vision, yeah. Anything you could see on the table, he could see. Uh, pretty sure. much. Unless his back is turned, but he's running in that direction. He's running in that direction, so I'm going to go, oh shit, there's two more guys. Yeah. And I'm going to move up in like a slight intercept direction to the one in the one. So, yep. Move the other 15 in that direction. So they have All right, there. Direct target. All right. <laughs> It was good <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go. Let's go to Ratma. Yeah. All right. Um, I see that everybody is moving, and I'm like, all right, we need music. So I start banging my drum of course. in a nice, like, four-ish kind of tone, like, boom, boom, boom. Okay. And then I go right behind, or right next to you. <laughs> um, and then I'm going to go right next to Rivera and ready up. Right or left side of him? Uh, left of him. All right. Okay. Okay, that's fine. Since we were talking about drums, I think most of like now I don't know that's that's recently made drums. Sure, why not? A guy named I met a guy from Senegal named John Francisco pick up my car the other day after he got my kid got so the guy's name is Young Art. I told him about the list that I was going on about like the open park fish again later on this summer. If any of y'all see a guy named Young Art over there, he's making some drums. Cool ass dude. Makes really cool art. And he's probably going to make his way up there. And if any of you want to make your way up to Split Fest later on this summer, probably run into some people here from the studio. So I'm going to be supporting the look and supporting your local artists. Yeah. Young Art. So N I A N G. Young Art. Frogman. What are we doing? Uh, I'm going to turn into a Duck Raven. Okay. <laughs> That's going to cost one of your charges, so make sure you note that down. You have three charges of your shape shift. Do you have the character that has shape for your raven? Yeah, well, yeah, Raven, I'm pretty sure Raven's at one health. Yeah. He has a fairly high AC, though. All right, and then I'm going to go and... Yeah, you might want to Google that if he doesn't have it. All right. How far you want to go? Well, no one's attacking anybody yet, except for Ember, who's thrown out an attack. Do I have to move that I can scream and he can stab me? You have a move where he can attack him. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> All right. 
sometimes. Okay. Situational. Okay. I want this situation. What are you doing? What's your movement speed as a race? 60. 65. You can make it right up to one of them. To both of these ones in the front. Which one do you want to do, left or right? Uh, so I'm going to just stab that raven. I'm going to try to... Throw for a hit. Just roll for a hit. In the eye. Just roll for a hit. <laughs> He's like, I had to do something with the eyes. <laughs> uh, plus what? This is why I said you should Google your raven. Well, I got 18. Oh, yeah, you're hitting them. In the eye? Yeah. Let's let's roll for let's roll for blind. Did you just spit into a cup? Just across the spot. What are you what are you like fucking Sean over here? Alright, so first roll D4 for me. Did you just make a stat look up the Raven? Just uh, Raven, D&D, &D, 5e, CR, 1. Just a, a, or 1 half, whatever it is. Yeah. The original Raven. Oh, okay. that's fine, yeah. 1 damage for the Raven attack, but let's roll a D20 for the blind. Let's see. No, they're perfectly fine. You hit him in the eye, but just kind of grazed him as he was blinking, so he's good. One damage. They have a plus four. In reality, I rolled 22, and I feel like that's actually fine. The first goal is to hit, the second goal is to see if you'll actually find them with that. All right, let's move to uh, <laughs> Anga. What are we doing? All right, um, so we go over here. Yes, sir. Let me make you are in the bottom right. And then what's the distance? Forty to get up in striking range. Get it. First dagger is a 22. 22, yep, that one hits. If he's lobbing them at the same time. Yeah. If I'm, no, if we said if I was lobbing at a separate target, then I was going to get disadvantage on my offhand. But if That's I'm fine, yeah. At the same target, then there'd be no disadvantage. Fair enough. But then if I was up close and I was attacking with the offhand against like a separate or whatever. We'll figure it out when the yeah, time comes. Yeah, that wouldn't be disadvantaged on right. All right, the second dagger would be a 15. Yeah. Okay, cool. So let's get damage on both of them. First dagger is going to be a seven. All right, tell me how it goes down. Oh, shit. <laughs> All right, I guess just when that dagger gets thrown, it's just going to lob right to the forehead and just splinter it kind of open or. Back yeah. Dagger hits him directly in the head, and as he starts falling back, another dagger just hits him as he goes down. <laughs> <laughs> and then both just vanish and reappear in your hands. Back in my hand. And then I guess I'm going to uh, move me back up against the the wall and up north as much as you can. Yep. So it's another time. Oh, yeah, you're right. Okay. All right. After Anga, we got our enemy. Sorry, Ross, you're the last one. That's what happens when you're on that one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, enemy's going to... Uh, first one's definitely going to attack Frogman. Uh, 
AC on a Raven is definitely below that, so you are out of Raven form right now. It doesn't really matter what he rolls for damage, because you got one health as Raven. Yeah, this is higher than that. <laughs> yeah, so you are out of Raven form right now. Is this guy at a disadvantage for his eyes just being gouged out? All you, all you did was peck him. You missed his eye. <laughs> <laughs> all right this guy I don't, yeah he can't quite make it to ongo but he can make it over to frogman all right this guy's gonna go over and attack frogman because he way over positioned himself you said your ac was 10 all right he just barely hits you for five damage this is another dude. This is a different guy. <laughs> this is why no one wants you to play their character. <laughs> All right, Ross. What are we doing? Sebastian was distracted playing with his goblin finger, and he heard Ratma playing drums and watched the travel towards Ratma. All right, I like it. I, I like the you're like nailing it. All right. <laughs> you're 30 feet of movement. You got right up the Ratma. This is what you can see in front of you. You got the two goblins on the left. Can I move anymore? That, that was all your movement to get there, but you can use a bonus action to dash, which gives you another 30 feet. You get one action, one bonus action. Your action would be like an attack or something. Could I, could I make an attack? Uh, or, or yeah. yeah, you could get right up on him with your bonus action and then attack him. Okay, Sebastian is not saved by the drums anymore and looks over at the goblin and wants to dash at the goblin. All right, let's 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 get an attack once you get up there. So, D20. He rolled a three. No, <laughs> you don't have to add anything to it. You're not him. <laughs> does, he, wait, does he get two attacks? Oh, yeah, you do have your dagger, so you separate daggers, so roll again for your second dagger. Sorry, I forgot he was our dagger guy. 14? You are hitting that one, so roll damage, which I believe is a D6. D4. D4, my bad. And then the D proficient in daggers? Yes. So that'd be proficiency and dex bonus. One plus proficiency. Oh, no, you just hit the dex so add your dex modifier. All right, so three damage to him. All right. Hey, he hit something. It's a dex bonus to damage. All right, let's go to... That was our last one, so we're back at Daddy. Oh, oh please. Please. Please back to Daddy. Why are you dead? You know, if you see the one that gives your vision... Actually, you can't see any of them at the edge of your vision right now. You can see Ross at the end of your vision. <laughs> to be fair, you saw Ross swing at something, but you can't quite make it out. <laughs> All right. So that's about as far as you can make it. All right. It's going to be 20 feet to get to him. I think I can only go but what's your range on the heal? Do you want to use a heal at five health? Or oh, are you confident that he's going to be able to make it through without using a heal? Because we can't save lives. We'll take him up when we need to. Well, what do you guys think? I think he'll. I don't mind using one. Jesus Christ. Right. 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 Because he's not stopping, he gets knocked down, and he's he marked. Okay, okay. You're done? Yeah, Alright. Let's go to Ember. Uh, no, that was two separate ones. Okay. Well, I'll take the one that has more damage right now. Okay. All right, I think you're going to need to move up just because it's out of your sight. Yeah, but my range is 80. Your range is 80, but it is out of your sight. Okay. 
I'll give you 20 feet. That way you can get up and see both of them. Huh? All right, that's, that's as far as you can get. <laughs> All right. They both have damage to them. <laughs> well, that's a mess. <laughs> All right, let's go to Rivera. All right, I'm going to move up as far as I can. going to get in range of the goblins. Yeah. Perfect. Slide in. Throw a short sword at him. That huh. is a 19. You're hitting. 23. Yeah. And that was the one next. That is six damage from the sword. All right, tell me how it goes down. Uh, I, I take advantage of the fact that Sebastian's got him uh, distracted. I just throw a sword through the side of his neck. Jesus. Hold out his <laughs> All right. <laughs> just, just make sure it's done. <laughs> just, just, I gotta make sure he's dead. <laughs> All right. So that one's gone. And we're over to Ratma. Ratma, what are we doing? Ratma light creature. Ratma. He's got to recover. Heavier than I thought. Alright. Um, so I'm the farthest one back right now, right? You are right here. And then there's one goblin remaining mm -hmm. over Can I reach him because everybody's kind of blocking him or uh with diagonal movements, hey, you're right up in him. Alright. Um, I am going to attack him with my sword. Let's get it. <laughs> <laughs> Twenty. Nat twenty? No, I throw Yeah. Oh, sorry, I thought you were telling me you got twenty. Fifteen. Fifteen? Plus anything? Do I plus anything? Yeah. Plus your proficiency and dex, right? Yeah. Alright, so I got a seventeen. Alright, you're hitting. Alright. Roll for damage. So right here is what? Eight plus uh Yeah. Hmm. I think I am just gonna straight up stab him in the heart. All right, we'll roll for damage. <laughs> How far does this part one go? D8. Yeah, you're. tell me how it goes down. Yeah. All right, I like it. All right, battle over. First battle down for the day. Now we just need all goblins. Yeah, you're alive. What do you mean? You're, what do you mean? Are you alive? Pay attention. <laughs> Just do your best Jay impression. <laughs> All right. Anybody want to do anything? All right. Let's. Yep. Let's get a nature check on both of them. Debbie, I'm gonna need you for the. Nat 20? Mm -hmm. Well, that's great, but I also need a D8 from you for oh, yeah. rarity pool. Yes, yeah, so let's get a D8. That's all right. Did you roll a D8? I so. Grandma is also going to loot, and he got 15. All right, give me one sec. Drake, you are going to get two black cup mushrooms. Black cup mushrooms. And then, Stefan? Stefan, you did a six and a two. Two? Is it black cup or black cup? Black cup. Mm -hmm. cup. Uh, Stefan, I'm going to give you a wolf spider. Oh, no. All right. And then Joe, D8, and then a D20. I got a 15 and a 7. All right, 15, D8, 7. And a 7, and you're going to get an air wisp. An air wisp? All right, that was all the goblins in the room. Sebastian wants to know if he can pocket for the mushroom. Oh yeah, you can absolutely try that. Yeah. <laughs> who who are you pickpocketing? Drake? Yeah. Alright, yeah, let's get a stealth. <laughs> uh D twenty. And then add your stealth modifier, which should be 
19. Okay, yeah, you're good on the stuff. Let's get a slide of hand check. Same thing, D20. Eight. Let's have you roll against the perception. perception. Yeah. Okay, because his stealth check was good, his sleight of hand check was bad, uh, you do get into his pocket, but he kind of reaches back and you get scared and reach your hand back out and you don't get any mushrooms. But he doesn't notice that you were in there. He's just... Pick out my wedgie real quick. Sorry? <laughs> no, he had a higher perception. <laughs> Hierarchy isn't theft, it's purchase isn't ownership. I. Wait, is he behind me? Or is that a What are we Can I see him? That, can I see him go in that to Ando's pocket? Like, Would you like to try to see him? Everyone try to take like to see Let's him. get a perception check, yeah. Okay, that's an at 20 or 20 again. Yeah, if you can. What was your stealth check that you told me? What was the number? 8 plus 1. No, that was your sleight of hand. Oh, what yeah, was the stuff before that? It was 19. So if you can roll a higher than a 19 on your perception, you could see him. <laughs> so what was all this? Is that like some sort of statue chilling there then? Yeah. Can I walk up to the statue and look around it to see if there's any sort of like crevices? Like I feel a draft coming around it or any sort of hidden compartment? Let's get a perception. Well, he's gonna, I just want to know what's in front of them. Are those like, chairs? These right here? Yeah. Those are uh, same thing from the other ten. They're like barricades. Like yeah, like oh, they're like cross barricades. Yeah. Okay. I rolled a seven. What's next? I'll take a look at seven. The, I'll take a look at the statue. You as well. like the statue. It's a pretty cool <laughs> statue. Not gonna lie. Is it shiny? It's shiny. Yeah. Are the things on the other side of the barricades right away? You can go over and look. Well, it's, it's everybody's turn. Do whatever you want. So I'll take a look at the statue as well. Okay. Yeah, give me, give me perception. I'm not sure there's a statue there. <laughs> it's now. <laughs> now you walk up and you're just like, where'd it go? <laughs> Sudden blindness, but only for the statue. <laughs> no. But I like it. That was good. All right. Yeah. Let's <laughs> check his eyes. Oh, you walk over there, and all right. When that was, give me an nature check too. You definitely feel like that. This is some sort of egg. Interesting. <laughs> I'm waiting for him to answer because I didn't design exactly. the map. <laughs> but statue egg or something, I don't know. Well, now I'm over now because she has a nice egg, so now I want an egg. This is a pretty trying time. Rivera, Rivera went first. Is going over to that left one. Give us a nature check. Grandma wants to pull that. No, that's zero. Twelve. It's a statue egg. Twelve. Yeah. You get an egg. From the left one? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Just put it as stone egg for now. I'm not really sure. You're now in the Oh my god. It's, like it's, <laughs> it's a goop egg. Yeah. <laughs> oh. All right. Go ahead and uh, reach over to that, that rope. Mm -hmm. Strength. What strength? That was an eight. An eight? Nah, you fail on it again. You just keep slipping off this rope. I go wide. It's a it's a pretty decent size rope. You can certainly try. I've been noticing Rammer really struggling with this rope, and I was gonna tell him, I told you your neck's too thick. You're gonna dangle there for a minute. If you really Please stop. Want it. Please stop. <laughs> okay, so you guys all go over and you just start yanking at this rope when suddenly the top of this thing 
starts caving in with every pull until finally you yank the rope down. The rope comes down, but so does the rest of the tent with it. Uh, you're each taking five damage. Okay. <laughs> As the tent collapses down on you. <laughs> and no more loot in that tent. <laughs> I think we gave Sebastian a squished cap stun or whatever it was. I got a bird feather that's blue and a mutty. But and none of those were damaged. We were only damaged. Yeah, <laughs> we were like, who got damaged items? Joe was like, let me tell you all my items. <laughs> so, All right, I like it. You can you can have a uh, ten feet of rope. With my door, I'm gonna cut a, a big giant hole and save everybody out. But feeling possible. All right. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna, if it's not made out of like a reasonable material, I'll just like cut my way out of it. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty flimsy material, I would say. One of our, our teammates is probably disabled. They only have five hit points left. So. Oh, that's a good point. Yeah. As I'm climbing out of the hole. He had seven uh, total. Yeah, he's at two down. He's just like, so if he doesn't appear in a reasonable time frame, I will try and figure out. You're down right now. Climbing out of the tent, I get very sweaty. It's very reminiscent of Frank trying to climb out of the couch. I'm just really struggling trying to find my way out of here. Uh, I start playing my drum to assist everybody. Follow the noise. Frogman, let's get a uh, saving throw. That giant thing is just ten. Yeah. Scale. Normal ten is what it is. It's a magic universe. Ten. Exactly. Ten. Ten. exactly ten. Ten. Yeah. All right, you're good for one. <laughs> we'll wait a few seconds, and we'll have you do another one if no one gets you up. Wait, is it 1 through 10 and then 11 through 20, or is 10 a perfect I figured it was tie for 10. I give it to him. I'm being very lenient with everything. So, uh, yeah. Uh, I died? Yeah, no, no, yeah. No, the tank collapsed on you guys when all of them decided to pull the rope together. As I'm crawling out of the tent, I, I slam my hand down on the ground mm -hmm. once, but I accidentally slammed him in the chest. And it's enough to be like a CPR shot to restart him. So you're getting him up. Yeah. <laughs> all right, you're up. You're back up with one hit point. I'm looking at you. Erase that two on your paper and write it one. <laughs> he just like kept looking at me and looking away. <laughs> All right, we'll go to the next tent, gang. Oh. All right, you want to go to that top right one? Yep. All right. Yeah. We did yeah. number one. It's this I one. The train bolt thing going on. All right. Say not good at floors, okay? <laughs> Give him a break. Metal All right, let me get everybody in here. Yeah. Yeah. If I move in, I'm moving at least like an additional ten feet, so people, you know, stack up behind me. I'll give you that. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna do a. We're gonna do a roll for initiative right away, just so everybody knows. Everybody roll for initiative. Don't tell your, me your numbers. I'm not taking them down. <laughs> <laughs> like every time I'm like, all right, roll for initiative and give me one second. And everyone's like, I got a seven. Like, just, just give me a second. <laughs> oh, uh, we got daddy. You see a brown liquidy meat on the table. <laughs> uh, Ember, Frogman, Ango, Ratma. Almost done. And Rivera's in there and Ross.
Okay. Um, yes, let's get everybody's initiative. Starting here. Starting with Ongo, yep. Give me one sec. And go ahead. Nine. Rivera? 17. Danny? 19. Ember? 8. Ratma? 6. Ross? 8. Frogman? 18. Well, we don't just get smashed by a goblin and all die in one turn. Let's go. All right. Woo -woo. Daddy, you're going to be the first one up oh, yeah. with Frogman on deck. Yes, you two re-roll, just flat number, whatever it is. 19. All right, so you're first. All right. So, Daddy, what do we want to do here? Daddy, what do you want to do? Oh, um... Are those goblins up there? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I'm starving. What are they doing? <laughs> <laughs> Looks like they're around the table eating lunch. <laughs> you said, did I have a Oh, sorry. <laughs> 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 well, I mean, are, are we not going to go after them? Like, after my. Like, we already rolled initiative, so combat has started. Yeah. Go walk up to the table and talk to them. Or you could heal some of us because we all got five damage. I would say, frankly, with how little he hits people, <laughs> Radler's probably got the most damage out of anybody. He could be. Frogman turns into a raven and usually just gets killed right away. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Within 25 feet of him right now. So that's 10 feet right there. Yep, we can move you another five, and now you're within 15 feet of him. Let's go. Oh, for me, yeah. He's failing that con saving throw. D12. Ew. Two. Things are moving back away though. You get that one out of there. Oh, I can move back. Yeah, move back. Oh yeah, I'll move back again. Back <laughs> as far as you can back. <laughs> you hear that silly like? <laughs> yeah. He's running away. I mean, why would he want to dash? So he's with the group. You can also use dash as a bonus action. If you wanted to get further in any direction, just so you know at any point. How much is my movement like space for that dash? 30 feet. 30 feet. And no, they can't do a bonus action after that, though. That is what Oh, I is. see. I can use my entire thing. So you, yeah. so you can move 30 feet, bonus action 30 feet, and then still have an action for an attack. Okay. Or whatever you want to do. So if you wanted, you could dash away and get even further away from those counts, or you can park it right next to us. That's your prerogative. Just something that so you can. All right, let's go to uh, Frogman. Okay. Uh, so you're just going to go back here? All right. Do you want to actually use an action to hide? <laughs> All right, let's get a uh, self check. How can he use a stone thing? It's a cantrip. I feel like he doesn't have any. It's no, it's not what uses. Yeah. Thirteen. I don't think he knows about it. Yeah. So Nolan. So you know for Frogman. I'm Frogman. Yes, Frogman. <laughs> you do have your magic stone cantrip. So every turn you could pick up three stones and enchant them with the magic. Or if you do that, then you chuck them the magic rock. Too. Yeah, I pick up three stones. And I enchant them with All right. my magic. Your hide fails as your bonus action. You can use your cantrip as your action to enchant stones. So I'm doing the enchanting of the stones. Okay. And I'm picking up three stones. And based on what you said to Frogman last time, 
I'm pretty sure one of the stones is accurate and the other two aren't. <laughs> I said that if he threw it like a buckshot, yeah. Because <laughs> he was like, I'll take all of them and throw them. I know. But if you but threw them one at a time, I'd be right I'd have no problem. <laughs> All right, let's go to uh, Rivera. Uh, so if I have to use a dash, I'll keep that in my hand. But I'm going to move up to the goblin closest to me. Right at his face. All right, now I'm going to... Uh, I mean, he hasn't moved or anything. He's sitting in a chair, so maybe it's vulnerable hit. No, sitting in a chair. All right, I'm going to, like... Try backhanding with my shield now, too. No. Right. Uh, that'll be a 20. I'm using my. It's rolling that 20 or a 19? 19. 19. Uh, yeah, you're hitting him with the shield. All right, what is that going to do for damage? D4. Uh, let's go D4 on the shield bash. All right. So have two plus two for strength, so four damage. Nice. Not bad. <clears throat> Clock him in the face. He's bleeding. Yeah, so I guess it's. <laughs> These guys were just eating lunch, and you guys walked up. And you. <laughs> <laughs> you were real bully in the lunchroom vibes. He just came over and dunked his head in the. Yeah, you go ahead and take the best action back. Just to the side of the back. Hold on. No, I want to say. Your shield is a bonus action to okay. hit him with. I'm fine okay. with that. So, um, because I like the I'm shield bash, but yeah. Up. Okay. Um, after Rivera, we got Ango. All right. Uh, my movement wouldn't get me up on that guy. No, I can chuck your daggers. I was going to see if I would be able to get up. You'd be on very close. Stab. You'd be you're five feet short of pretty much both of them. Yeah. Okay. Um, I like the clicking. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm going to move up 15 feet. All right. And I'm going to offhand throw a dagger at the one closest to Rivera and main hand throw the one furthest from Rivera. All right, so one closest to Rivera, disadvantage, the yep. other one normal. Yep, so first roll is going to be my offhand. Mm. All so right, that one's, one's gonna hit. Just tell me how that guy dies, because there's no way. Oh yeah, my plus bonus, he just dies. Yeah. So yeah, um, I throw this one kind of like so the blade is gonna go perpendicular to like the axis of this knife. It's just gonna go and lob it clean off, and then just disappear back in my hand. All right. And I <laughs> throw the next dagger to the guy further from there. Yeah, that's not gonna. Yeah, nope, that one missed completely. It was very cool with the first one, and then you threw the other one and went completely off. <laughs> but I still feel really cool. So I'm just going to have a spear back in my hand, and I'm going to run 15 feet southwest. Yep. All right. Let's go to, after Ango, we got Ember. Okay. And she's a bard of the bad one then. I'll just a further one. Okay. I can assume they're both within the radius. Yeah. Your Halo of Thorns is a 10 foot radius? Huh? Your Halo of Thorns is a 10 foot radius? No, it's five feet from them. Five feet from them, okay. Yeah. I only got 10, so I don't forget. But bonus damage is bonus damage. God damn it, why does it keep doing that to me? True. I wasn't trying to be slimy that time. They are, they are 10 feet apart from each other. Oh, Yeah. I will give you your Hail of Thorns back because... It's a round table. I'm just... If you're lucky, okay. I'm, I, I, I will give it back to you because, yeah, I get what you were trying to go for. They were eating lunch and you guys disturbed them. Don't mock their table. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, I'm yes. taking it. <laughs> uh, did you, you don't want to attack anyone? I did. 
Ah, okay. Uh, let's go, Ross. I got so far to just sit there. It goes to Bastion, well, to tell if he can go to the goblin and take his head to the ground. You can nature check in and see what you get. Okay. What's uh? It's actually really D twenty. D twenty. Yep. Uh, W, I need you over here. Yep, what are we doing? Looting a goblin. All right, what do we got? A six on an eight? Sixteen. The goblin. He was also looting it with oh, the goal of getting a severed head. You want a severed head? He was looking to grab a severed head. And he rolled a what? Sixteen. Yeah, go ahead. All right, take his severed head off. <laughs> I'll work it in somehow. <laughs> and then, Ben wants to know if he can... In his face off, so we can use it as a disguise. Yeah, why don't you roll a uh, yeah, roll a sleight of hand, and I'm just gonna after you picked him up, you want to move back towards the other creek. No, you only move 15 feet, you can move back to where you were. <laughs> All right, and you uh, give me a sleight of hand, and let's move on from him to uh, Ratma. Seventeen. All right. Yeah, you're starting to carve this thing off, but you're pretty occupied right now. Let's go. Let's move over to Ramo. <laughs> they just watched you kill their friend. They they were eating lunch. Watched you guys roll up, kill their friend, while one of you guys ran up, chopped off his head, and just started carving his face off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, Ramo, what are we doing? <laughs> yeah, we Jill, what do you want to do? Is anyone alive? Yeah, there's two goblins left. Ooh, daddy. Okay, um, I will use the uh, with it. That. Can I can I get You can make it straight up to that guy with thirty feet. Just move them. Okay. Well then, I'll use a movement to get right up in his face and be like, "Hey, hey, 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 hey,
Rama and Rivera are both down. Can you emphasize the D a little bit more when you say my name? Uh, All right, Team Dan. Team Dan. Team Dan. So this one is a combination of YouTube and Twitch, so we can't see the Twitch commands on it, but I have Twitch pulled up so we can see all this. But on our big screen, we can see just the combination of them. We're going to have two TVs, so we'll be able to do one on YouTube. Cool. Yeah, maybe. What are you doing, Nick? I'm Nick. I don't know. So is Rivera. So is Rivera. We're down to the count. Can I stabilize Rivera? Can I stabilize Rivera? Okay. So yeah, you want to run up and stabilize them? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Stabilizing would be a straight up action. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, Sorry, Rivera's out. He's out? Yep. All right. Either that, or you could, unless you already just counted that as what he was doing. Yeah. Talk through it. I was going to recommend either that, or you could use a heal. I need to both you are down, wrap on and. your action there, yeah. yeah. Well, you only use 15 feet. If you want to go just straight back to where you were with another 15, sure. uh, you'll have an opportunity to attack from the goblin if you want to run away. Still attack me? Mm -hmm. Oh, then, um, no, 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 no. All right. Let's, uh, that was daddy. Let's go to Frogman. Frogman. Ah! Nolan. 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 I've been there. I'm not even mad. That's what they mean. No, no, no. I was just thinking it through because I only have one. Yes, you do. You have your three enchanted rocks in your hand. Oh, yeah. I got my three rocks. All right. Well, I asked. Uh, I asked Daddy, and I'm like, hey, Daddy. <laughs> Can you fucking heal me next turn, dude? Maybe hey, daddy. I don't like the way he said that. <laughs> it's hilarious. And then uh, I'm going to take those three rocks, and I'm going to chuck all three. All three? All right. Well, who are you throwing them at? Uh, is there two goblins? Three. Yeah. I'm aiming to, to split them down the middle. Yeah. Uh, I'm I'm just gonna throw that out there. Yeah, Rivera is in the middle of them, and Daddy on your way there. Kind of, they're both mostly Rivera is right in the middle of them. Will you let me lob one? If if you want to throw one rock, that's your action is to throw one rock. No, no, if you want to no. grab all of them in hand and throw no, them, you're like, buckshot in the thing. Like lob one, lob one, and then take the other two and fucking skip them. Skip them over the dirt. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Let's. Give them just enough fancy stuff, and that's the stuff for Bob Yeah. Like, can I just move like Neo? I will give you if you want to lob one up as a distraction and see if they get distracted while you throw two with one hand and one of them's at disadvantage. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Let's let's that throw. Let's do the distraction first. Let's throw up the first rock. All right. And um, if I hit it, they are not distracted at all. <laughs> they're not. They're, they throw. You throw out the rock, and they're both just deadpan on you. <laughs> all right. Well, then I run. <laughs> okay. Okay. I run up and I check. I'm like, oh, they're not distracted. So I run. I use my movement speed. So I roll on my back over the table. 
Okay, well, it'll cost you 15 just to get there, and they're both in the way of your table. I will, I roll, what's that? He's rolled around. Okay. Yeah. I roll my bag across the stool to land on the other side of the stool. All right, that costs you all 30 feet to get over there and in range with one health. Are they distracted by the roll? <laughs> They're looking right at you. Yeah. <laughs> I'm getting distracted. Yeah. It's a strange parkour. I thought the roll was just parkour. Parkour. I thought they'd skip up. <laughs> Nat 20. Look, fuck you, go! The so first one hits the first goblin. Let's roll for the second one at disadvantage because it's a buckshot. The, the second one. So roll roll your d20 twice and take the low number now. The first hit those will be a crit. Nat 20. Roll it again. Roll it again. Is there a way to die over there? <laughs> I was like, if that comes up in Nat 20, we're throwing that die out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you said nine? Okay, so that one, that, that's even with plus, it's not. That's... Okay, the first guy you're creating, what was his magic stone damage? It was one damage or something like that? D4? Okay, roll a D4 for me. Twice. And then... All right, five damage to that guy. Not really, not really. After doing some weird parkour move, and now you're one health right in front of him. I like it. He's not happy. I thought he was over a table and he's prone. He is prone, you are correct. Yeah. Oh, I should have had advantage on that. I didn't even think about that. Oh! The other next one should stay in. All right, go ahead and roll, roll damage on that one. All right, tell me how he dies. <laughs> I'm going to give you an inspiration point for just the sheer ridiculousness of how that played out. <laughs> and somehow worked. Just in five minutes, one move, he has done more damage than He just grabbed rocks, parkoured over a stool, and then threw it point blank in the guy's face and killed him. <laughs> Alright, so basically how it goes down is uh, you guys go in uh, Timmy Turner. They're like, yeah, we got a fire department, but it's like way back in the day, and they're like, their fire department is just rocks. Like, this guy's throwing rocks at fire. <laughs> so I just go, rock, 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 rock. That should take so kind of accurate. And they, and they die. <laughs> and they and not. They still won up. They still won up. All right, yeah, but I get to roll again for it. No, no, we yeah, did. I gave you. When he originally stayed. I gave you the second rock as they were both just going straight into this guy's face, and you killed them with it. The second at twenty is what kills the goblin. Yeah. Oh right. right. And that one guy is really weak now. Okay. Right. Well then, this I I end my turn by saying this. Say that fucking drum, right now. <laughs> I can't. I'm dead. <laughs> You're just unconscious. <laughs> All right, Rivera. All right. You just saw that great feat of acrobatics there. I'm actually just as talented as I don't know. Does that guy look like a turn at all? This one, no. No, not at all. This one hasn't been hit by anybody yet. <laughs> yeah, he's dripping with drool and brown liquidy stuff that we're not quite sure what it is. <laughs> Nat 20? Give me the roll. Let's do it. Tell me how it goes down. I chug my potion <laughs> and I just throw the bottle up to distract him and then two and then I come back and just hit him in the face with the sword and then just push him down and stab him. <laughs> these, man, these people were having a great meal. <laughs> All right, battle's over. I'm oh, sorry about this. Push down. I go die quietly. I lose one of the goblin bodies. All right, give me that nature. How, there are three now. Yep. Two, I'm going to stabilize the last one. Okay. Does the, so, do you know how to hold for that? No, no, you're just picking them up. Yeah. 
Sebastian took the severed head off that one goblin. <laughs> that one goblin still able to be looted just because he took the head, or was that the loot? I'm going to say no because he got that head. Okay. And you you now have in your inventory, by the way, a complete goblin face. <laughs> just put skinned goblin face. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sean's going to come back, look at that, and be like, the hell is this? <laughs> All right. Is going to be a seven. Da. Seven. 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 You're going to be the first person to receive a ghost orchid seed. Okay. Wow. Oh, you can grow one yourself now. Sweet. All right, who else was saluting? If we just put her on the farm, that'd be sweet. sweet. We have one more goblin. Yeah, I'll zoom out for you. We still have one more Boss. goblin, Dad. I throw one dagger immediately at the sound of somebody saying Boss. All right, yeah, let's... Uh... Roll for decks. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why he keeps doing this. You got a <laughs> you got a crushed wolf spider. <laughs> wolf spider reminds me of a beautiful drink that I once enjoyed called Wolf Cola. Can I introduce anybody? Nice refreshing Wolf Cola. Okay. It's definitely a real drink. All right, there's still one more dead goblin in the room. If anyone wants to loot it. All right, let's get a nature and a rarity. D8 and D20. Doesn't matter. I didn't remember the crushed wolf spider actually. The ant one called out the boss. That's your nature one. Can I, can I trust? Oh, oh, I could. Can I just say the crushed wolf spider in this current time? Nine for nature and then a D8 for rarity. Prepare. Prepare. Anybody else want to do anything? Like a kind of like a blade of grass kind of like. Okay. I was just curious. Bigger though. Okay. Like, but it's got like the same shape. Gotcha. Like the uh like that Michigan sawgrass crap. What can I do with the food? You will get figure it out. Uh, okay. Figure it out. Okay. Everyone can figure it out, dummy. No. <laughs> everybody else to be little loot gremlins, then I'm just gonna I will check for other things that are dangerous. I'm just gonna sit outside. I'm immediately outside the tent and just clean my toes and all night. Um, no, they're all disabled now. I forgot about the trap. All right, you got lucky on this one. <laughs> so nothing dangerous in the tent. You still have three jars up top. They would have been a lot of jars. All right, let's get natures and d8s and whatnot. Eleven and seven for rarity. Seven for the natures. Seven for the rarity. Glowing mushroom. Six. Yeah. Six nature. One. Wonderful. Nice. Nice. Love that. I guess I'll be the last one. Even worse, crushable spider. 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 Even wor
Is Net one on the is nature. That, is that for nature? Yeah. Or for yeah. rarity? That was a D20, yeah. Whatever you grab, I can tell you pretty much just destroyed. Yeah, I've been there, done that. This legendary glowing object you lift up just ashes. <laughs> <laughs> Ender sword. Destroyer of <laughs> You pull out this insane sword, just disintegrates. <laughs> Alright, we're leaving the tent. I believe you have one more hut that you guys haven't explored yet. And I'm going to turn traps back on inside the hut, not outside. And if you guys want to come out, so it doesn't matter. But in this next hut, there's traps again. Yeah. yeah. I believe it's the bottom oh, left hut that you guys ever got. Does this hut, does it have like any sort of way? Because it looks like there's some sort of way. Is it a hut or is it another one that's tent? It's a hut. Does it have a second story at all? Like a way that you'd be able to go through like a no. hut or just one entryway? Just one entryway. Just one entryway. Okay. I'll start making my way over there. I was up on the door waiting for my comrade. I'm ready to play the blue stuff. Everybody's going in? Yeah, I'm going in. Well, hey, hold up, hold up, hold up. Just make sure that I'm just far enough away from the door. Yeah. Yeah. I like it. Now I need to heal. All right, well, we've got to wait a few turns or something. We've got to heal. Yeah, I don't think you're going to repeat it. I'm just saying, like, I want to make sure that we all get in there this time, so we're not. If you want, we only have one turn that's what it's looking like, so you could probably just have to close and see us right now. Well, the thing is, if I've done both my heals, I have three health. And we also have mushrooms that we're able to give you too. Give me um, some mushrooms. Huh? I'm going to give I'm going to give Daddy a humongous mushroom. Humongous mushroom, and you humongous take you're mushroom. eating a humongous mushroom. Will you take a humongous mushroom? Uh, well, I mean, before we do that, should we just get there? Another question: Do you want to give myself a new rest? I have a very confident. I still think it's in rough testing. That's what I'm saying. I'm very confident that we can handle this next skirmish with the whole group, and then we can do a long rest after. You walk into the building and there's a crack in. Can he see if that's a bucket of water? The bucket in the middle or the one right next to you? This one or this one? Ah, uh, yes, that is a bucket of water. Yeah. Takes one charge of your heal away. Yeah. And then go ahead and heal a Go ahead and you throw on your goblin face mask, and it somehow, with the way you skinned it, fits perfectly on your face. Yeah. But it's still got quite a bit of blood coming down your face. <laughs> and every time you talk, the mouth isn't moving. It says at least one AC bonus, right? No. You have you have advantage on deception rolls against goblins. <laughs> I'll take that. <laughs> All right. So we're rolling in, in the last building? Yeah. Yep. All right. We had Rivera dive rolling into this building to make room. Yeah. <laughs> I 
Well, I did have a crazy mask. Yeah. That's probably pretty awesome. It did look hideous and shiny. You feel fucking well. You fought the idiot. I'll give you even a right there. Why not? Oh, it's uh, oh my god, the dude from Doctor Who, or no, oh my god, I can't remember his name. He's got a, I can't remember his name, but it's him in a very giant suit. Yeah, right, let's dominate. Nathan, like, oh my god, I can't remember his name. No, I don't think I understand. All right. This is your vision as you enter into the building. Oh, okay. We got Rivera in front. Are those the little two barricades that are like crossing? Yes. Okay. What do we want to do? Can we all walk like together and on the line? Okay, let's go to. This is Rivera's view as you come around the corner. Hasn't noticed you yet. But there is a goblin at the table that you see. Get their attention. <laughs> you're acting like you're killing Frogman? All right. Here, I'll, I'll switch you places where we're at, so you can have that. <laughs> Yeah, let's get a uh, sneak. I was really bad at the combat skills. Really still trying to. He didn't even move. I thought it was. Nine? Ooh, let's get a perception against you. All right, let's get everyone to roll for each. Hold up. I yelled to the group. Uh, I'm crazy, you know. A goblin's attacking me, and then we try to distract the goblin. It was an interesting idea, but let's all roll for initiative. All right, Ongo, Rivera, Daddy, Ember, Ratma, Ross, Frogman, Ratma, you're going to be the one starting out. Give me one second. And then Ongo, you're on deck. Uh, Rivera and Daddy, re-roll flat. Yeah. Six hands, six. Yeah. Uh, you got it. Could you tell me who's in front of Rama? Frogman, you had a one? Yeah, bro. <laughs> I'm distracting. I'm distracting. I got you. So even if I was at a disadvantage, it looks like I'm already... Okay. Ratma? Yeah, I don't, I don't have a problem with a three-width hallway on this one. Okay. Um, I'm going to 
I am going to up right next to Rivera on the right side. Right here? No, I'm, I'm sorry, like above him on the right side. Okay. Right here. Right. Yes. Right. 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 Yeah, right there. Would okay. And then I can fully see a goblin. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to say goblin. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> wow. All right, let's uh, go to Ango. And while this guy is going into his, you know, like, gruel and shit forage, dunking a spoon in there, both my daggers in this direction. All right, that's a uh, thirty-five feet. Thirty-five. Okay, I got to get a little bit closer then. Okay. You moved ten feet so far. Yeah, put me fifteen feet closer. Yeah. Yep. There yep. you go. Bobbing both boards at him. All right. Nineteen. Hit. Nat one. Miss. All right, give me the nineteen damage. All right, six damage to him, and then as you throw the other dagger, you're falling down prone. Your turn is over. And that guy is, like, sputtering blood off the table. Okay, uh, after Ongo, we got Daddy. Yep. Let me move over to you. Hold on. There's a proclamation. Goblin! Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. Any of this way. That's 30 feet. Yeah. All right, you got a 30 feet range right there. What's the Yeah. All right. You can dash at him. Good dash. Dash at him. He does have one health. If you bonk him on the head, he will die. But bonk also, we just don't bonk. know. Can bonk him. I say bonk him. 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 He's going to stay right back. All right. <laughs> Rivera? <laughs> what do you want to do? Me? Yeah. Yep. Everyone roll that. You got five, five, three, four, one, two. <laughs> I okay, yeah, you five. you went right away. Ignore me. <laughs> your seven, your five was the fourth highest. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, I'll take the the uh, the victory is, and I guess I'll uh, move up towards this guy. All right. I'll move to thirty. Thirty will get you right to the table. I guess I'll have to use my bonus action to dash. Table, yeah, I'll just give it straight up to him. And I will roll through that. All right. Well, it's not going to be. Nah. Does he see any other goblins and any other sort of building? Sorry, let me. Yeah. 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 Yeah
You are back here. That's 30 right there. You got a goblin right here and a goblin up there. If you move straight up, uh, so what would have health on that goblin? I can't tell you health. He's looking pretty hurt. So I said, it'll 30 feet just to get straight up to him with a dash. All right, I like it. Let's roll for a hit. Okay, yeah, I don't see why not. What do you got? Natch one? Yeah. All right, that's a crit. Does it? Yeah, just tell me how this guy dies, because there's no way he can die. <laughs> so he falls onto the chair, and then I take in my sword, and I stab it to the back, and I start grinding it. Like a <laughs> <laughs> that's how that's that's proud. Sean would be proud. <laughs> All right, let's uh, <laughs> let's go to Ember. Where are you at? You should be down below somewhere. Yeah. So that would be 30 right there. And you can see the goblin, yeah? All right, let's get it. 10. Time to switch that dice. Oh. Because the next hit, next is that mid successful hit. So you're just loaded with a new hit. Oh, maybe you can charge. Well, it's just obliterating the button. That's what I'm waiting for. Until it rocks the field, the tumble is fun. Oh my god. All right. All right. Our first goblin here is going to turn towards, let's say, Ross, who we just watched destroy one of his guys. <laughs> He's going to hit you for five piercing with a bow. So are you up still, Ross, or are you down? I'm high to the bow. All right, nice, nice. Then we got some other goblins hearing some commotion, and they're going to start moving. I'm aware. You roll the one, my guy. Yeah, it's not even got to you yet. That's how bad it is. Damn, when it comes to you. You can't, you can also throw them there. All right, and after our enemy's turn, we got Frogman, who's way back here. <laughs> All right. Where are you finding rocks at in here? Where are you finding rocks at in here? So you're running back outside and grabbing some rocks and coming back in. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna cost you ten ten feet of movement for that one. Ten feet of movement and then ten feet back in the space. All right, sure, yeah, twenty feet. <laughs> <laughs> no, he said it. It's twenty feet now. <laughs> yeah. Can I? literally just gonna cost you ten feet total. I like it. Twenty feet. Ember. He could start collecting stones, yeah. He likes rocks. But I like rocks. <laughs> he could start collecting stones, but uh, it's going to take him some time to get them all. I'm going to yell at Frogman. Or make sure you get a bunch of rocks up there, bro. All right, well, you got your three rocks right now. Yeah, I have to go back to the rocks. So then you got 10 feet of movement. Well, this is what I don't understand. How did I shoot myself? I told you it was going to be 10 feet to go out and get back in. You were like, right, 10 feet out, 10 feet in. I was like, all right, 20 feet. <laughs> all right, well, 
well, I got the rocks and I'm enchanting them. Okay. And I'm teaching myself how to juggle because the deck's huge. <laughs> All right. If you want to move 10 feet, you, you could. No, I'm sure. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Ratma, we're over to you. That's 30 feet right there. Okay, and then I can do a dash. Mm -hmm. I'm going to dash towards this goblin. 25 feet to get right in his face. Perfect. All right. And I'm going to get up in his face. Roll my sword. And I'm going to put my bucket on top of his head. Pop! So he can't see. Yeah, let's roll for a hit, and we'll do uh, Just give me a base. Just base d20. Eight. You grab your Wait, bucket. Do no, just okay. base. You grab your bucket and you go to slam it over his head and just like completely miss him and he just like dips out of the way and looks at you. <laughs> but the force you threw your bucket destroyed it on the ground. <laughs> Seven, seven. <laughs> I'll give you the bucket as a bonus action if you want. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'm gonna try to stab him. With my, with my <laughs> you throw hand. a bucket at him and then you pull out a sword. Well, that's my goal. <laughs> I was gonna do that next turn. Like, I'm gonna stab All him. right, okay. let's roll for hit. Okay, so uh, that's another eighteen. Ooh, Ooh you're hitting. Roll for damage. It's it's already high enough. Is she gonna hit her damage? No, she gets her first hit, she gets her proficiency bonus, and then she gets dexterity with her two dudes. But she's already she's already hit. So right. My right here is the D8. What initiative is this? Okay. Uh, yeah. Oh wait. I rolled the wrong one. Oh, this is your damage. That's too many numbers. Nine. <laughs> Five. Five, alright. All right. I'm going to chop off his arm. <laughs> <laughs> going to give you, a, you're using a rapier, so you just kind of stab him. Sure. You stab him in the arm and he starts bleeding, but he kind of like you're cutting it off. All right. Um, after rat mode, we got Ango. I am going to... <laughs> Move me as far north as can 30 feet. Actually, then move me to where I'd be 20 feet away from that goblin. So, I'm right there. In cardinal directions. It makes it easier for the DM because we have different perspective on the screen. Um, then I will attack the goblin with both daggers. All right, let's throw him. Uh, so not in that 20. All right, that's it. 17. 17, both on him. Oh. Just go ahead and tell me how it gets down. Sweet. Um, yeah, no, I'm going to throw both the daggers at his kneecaps, and as he collapses, I'm just waiting for uh, Ratma to finish the job with the rip here on his way down. Yeah, all right. All good? <laughs> <laughs> and see the rat gets the fight. I like that. Ango, you're done? Um, and then I guess I'm going to... I'm going to dash and move me another... Then, yeah, so move me that plate that you clicked, one more over to the left. Down. Right there. Okay, That's so where Ram is at. Okay, that, so move me right behind that one. Right there? Yeah. Um, let's go to daddy. Oh, yeah. Let's do it. Yeah. You know, enunciate that deal. Sassy. Sassy one. Sassy. 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 
up here because you want to interact. And then on yeah. the other one. That's 30. Didn't you use two heals? You healed Frogman. All right, Rivera. You're down here. All right. That's thirty. <laughs> this line will still work. Yeah, I got something on the other side of the barricade. You want to dash to it? Yep. Right there, that'll do it. Right here? Yep. Yeah. All right. <laughs> We're on Ross. Yeah, let's get it. Uh, nature check and a D8. First D20, nature check. Plus your nature. 18, all right, now roll D8 for us. Not broken. Yeah, not broken. You get a red berry. Nice. <laughs> Not broken. Uh, do I have a hair? What's the red berry? You'll find out. Oh, yeah. As soon as you guys finish this, you guys are going to get to start using some crafting soon. Sweet. Like real soon. I'm trying to figure out how I can get more health and consuming things. Oh, I just need a red berry. I'll give you one health for eating a red berry, too. One health? Yeah. For one red berry? Yeah. It seems like a fiber, dude. It's a very <laughs> it seems like a fire. <laughs> Alright, Ross, what a uh what a thing to do. Bastion said what else for red berry? Yeah. Yep. Bastion would like to consume uh two red berries. Alright. Do you have two red berries on it? I have six. Oh nice. Ooh. Man's been picking up red berries. <laughs> well, well bad nature might be it might behoove of us if we end up like we Would you like to move it all, Sebastian? Location somewhere. I, I'll, so I'll go here to the bank. Okay. Okay. Like over here? What's a large red berry? Yep, right there. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, that works. All right. I guess you'll find out. <laughs> you can eat it. It'll heal you. Oh, hell yeah. We'll we'll see. Berry? All right. It's not your turn. Don't worry about it. <laughs> uh, That was Ross. We're on to Ember. You want to go further up above them? Or? So that would be 30 yeah, through right there. 30 and then I'll dash. Oh. Yeah. Right there. All right. All right, with that, we're on to our enemy. Thirty feet away from you. You know what? These guys are gonna dash. Why not? All right, Rivera, you're getting attacked. AC? Five damage, my guy. Back down? No, I'm fine. No. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, this guy's going to dash too, because why not? And. Ember, you're getting attacked. Look at the corner there. That's Cap. Cap on a stack. Cap on me. Look at the screen. We can both see each other. <laughs> What's your AC? He barely misses you. 
right well, through your hair. <laughs> as a few a few split ends stand out. <laughs> All right, let's go to Frogman. Where the hell are you? You're way back at the entrance. <laughs> You're over here. You're juggling rocks over here. Frogman. You're at the entrance. Yeah. <laughs> You're running up? All right. No, 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 no. I fly. I turn into the duck and I fly to them. Okay. Yeah. But do I drop the rocks? No, because the rocks are still in your inventory. They're not on your raven, though. So that's 60 feet, your raven flight to get up here. All right, I'm chilling right there. All right, let's go to... Uh, Ratma. Right, you're gonna have to come out of Raven form to do that. All right, well that takes another charge of your Raven. You got one more left. Until I rest, right? Yeah. I didn't like lose the Raven charge for No, just until you rest. Yeah. All right, so you got one charge left. You're back to human. You ate a berry. Five That's a fiber, yeah. <laughs> That's a fiber. Cool. Thank you. All right. I'll go. You say he sucks. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, I am going to. If I were to move Ango, the tile north of down. So just a plus five minus three. With the goblin. Yeah. Okay. I am going to uh, use my offhand to try to stab the goblin next to me while uh, using my primary hand to throw the dagger at the goblin further away. That's right. So this is going to be my thrown dagger. 24. Uh, that hits. And my stabbing dagger. 16. That hits as well. Sweet. So thrown dagger damage. And my stabbing dagger damage. Seven. Tell me how that one does. I'm going to plunge it right to where I would assume a goblin's kidney would be. I'm just going to drag the dagger up and then pull it back out. All right. And then how much movement did I take to get to that spot? 20 feet. I'm going to move. Uh, five feet to the right and then five feet south. Yep. Yeah. There's that okay. five feet right there. Yes, yeah. diagonal five feet, yeah. Yep. All right, after Ongo, we got Daddy. That guy's looking pretty beat up. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm just next to Rivera. Yep. Who's the glue? Ongo. 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 Yeah. Okay. Yes, so, that, actually, that's 25 to get to right there. Okay. And 10 feet in the ground. No. No. Yeah. Yeah. Try to actually get a little bit closer. Oh, yeah. I got three health. I got my cast. Do you want to move behind it? Yeah, probably. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's go to Rivera. What's the. So 30 to get right within 10 I'll feet. Take dash action, just so I get up here. All right, let's do it. Oh. All right, you're prone. Tune yeah. over. Let's go to Ross. Where are you at, Ross? You're right here. I would like to move across the staircase and up a little bit as far as I can go. So that would be 30 feet right there. No, yeah, every turn you get a bonus action. Bonus action God damn it, every time. It, that would be 25 to get right next to him. Okay. 
All right, let's get it. Yep, we're going to do a dexterity <laughs> instead of strength for your attack. So still d20, but you're going to add your dex modifier to it. 15 plus 1, 2. Six, you, you hit it. Right. <laughs> give, me, give me the damage. <laughs> give me the damage on that thing. I don't know what your sword is. Or it's dagger. It's D, D4. Sorry, I forgot he had daggers. I keep for some reason thinking he's got a sword. No, no, this All right, tell me how this guy dies from his javelin. <laughs> didn't just you dagger. right? I'm talking oh, as close as me and Nolan are. You just grab your sword and throw it at his face. And as I throw it, it takes the body. Love, love it. <laughs> All right. Oh, <laughs> I will retrieve my dagger and just turn it. Put it yes. In the, you, the battle is over, so you can go get your dagger now. And that. <laughs> all right. As this goblin dies, you got all get a notification that pops up in front of you in a translucent blue screen that says, Level 1 complete. Congratulations. You completed Level 1 of the tower. Objective, subjugate the monsters from this floor. Summary. The humans traveled from far away and eventually landed on this island where they decided to plant their roots and grow their population. During the exploration of the island, they discovered the goblin village. The humans, seeing the goblins as vile creatures, immediately attacked and started treating the goblins as savages. The goblins, who had been on this land for generations, were peaceful and had never met humans before. After being attacked and having many of their elders and village chiefs slaughtered by unknown creatures, the goblins labeled the humans as monsters and began their revenge. Thus began an endless battle between two creatures who labeled each other as monsters. Your team chose to side with the humans and commit genocide on the peaceful goblins. Congratulations on your choice. You must face the consequences of your actions. Going forward, goblins are now extinct in the tower as they've been wiped away from history by you and your team of heroic adventurers. Going forward, consider your choices carefully. Having your greatest wish granted may be great, but you will have to live with the choices you make in the tower forever. Wow. Justice is decided by the victors. So, wow. So, you can say who was with us there. No. Shit. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I don't just shit. <laughs> well, should have been attacked. Yeah. Oh. I asked earlier for your experience, but I wasn't up. It was human. It was worth it. So you sided with racists. <laughs> <laughs> As soon as we showed up in the village and the goblins were there, conflict began. The goblins were in a never ending battle that they started uh, only for revenge, so. I would like to see what we're so like, guys, this isn't like you. Listen, there was a couple hints throughout it where the humans just kept calling the monsters and referring to them as that, and no one really questioned it at all. And you guys did kill one of the humans, and immediately I looked at Will and I was like, if they kill all these guys, they're just done with this floor. <laughs> you guys would have sided if with you the goblins. Made a goblin shop for just this whole thing, to be fair, only, only one, one of you tried to talk to the goblins, which I think was Jay, maybe, I can't remember. But they just kind of gurgled back and didn't understand him, and then you guys just started fucking them. <laughs> so you didn't understand these foreign creatures and decided to kill them. <laughs> what about the bear? The ba no, the bear was just a random creature in there. <laughs> the mine was completely optional on this level. This is the goblin's land that the humans invaded. We're on fire. We're on fire. Can I see where the goblins came out of? Can I turn through there? Yeah, you can. go behind that curtain because they see some black stuff. Yeah, this, this is what you're seeing back here. Uh, ignore this. This is something we added on, but it didn't end up working. So ignore this. There is some type of tapestry there, yeah. <laughs> like I said, justice is declared by the victors, so I mean, since they're extinct, who's going to argue that they weren't? I'm going to loot the goblin into this realm. Whoa, that's like Let's loot it. <laughs> Let's watch ourselves here. I got it. I got it. <laughs> 
Sorry about that one. What do you got? Twelve nature. All right, roll d8 for us too. He's losing one of the goblins. Oh, the one that's daily well killed. Three. You sham well with that butter. You slap shop as well. Like, oh, give me that. Yeah. Metal. Singing metal. <laughs> metal. <laughs> Singing, and then nettles N E T T L E. All right, anybody else want to do anything? Okay. Yeah, you can go grab a pillow and blanket. Well, I wasn't like here the day that we all ended up leaving the the potion maker, and after he turned my hand to see, or like, did we burn all the riches of that guy, or did we return to him to? You can try to return to him. I would like to try to because I, I want to go back and see if one I might be able to get the boy to compromise and like to try to call back, and then two, see since we finish this mission if there might be able to be some sort of deal. I was waiting for you guys to leave. So as you step out of the building in the distance, you see a tower rise out of the sea connected to the land about, well, I didn't put in the map, but it's like right here or right on the beach down here somewhere. I would like to yeah. rest and also, yeah. can we go back through the woods so I can get some more, like, things to do with? I would I like to rest before I go through the woods. There will be lots of woods up there. You're, you're good. There's nothing in these woods. <laughs> Level two's got everything. You already got plenty. You got plenty of ingredients. Before we return to the village to talk to the shopkeepers, would we like to declare a long rest? Yes. Are there any more shopkeepers? The potion guy? Are you sure my hands are here? Is that the only guy left? I think the other guys didn't have good gear. Oh, but shit, it was not the point. We should not have killed all the We have to escape that one potion guy. Um. Yeah. So no, So we have long rest. All right. Go ahead and take a long rest. If that's what you guys want to do. Yeah. So all your health is back. All your charges are back. And I would like to make my way over to that shop. All right. We're back over to the human village. And you're going to the potion shop. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Can you refresh us? Because I feel like it's been a while. Which shopkeepers are dead? I believe you killed the armor shop. Or you weapon shop. Item. Weapon shop, yeah. The item shop is fine, yeah. I, I saw you guys tied up back here. So, no, no. Why do we kill the weapon shop? Yeah. Armor shop? Okay, you're right. Oh, was you? Honestly, Sean, sorry. No, you, no, you started the con. No, no, it was. It was no, it was Jay started the con. No, it was no one. Oh, sorry, right. Sean started the shop. I mean, I can go over to the shop real quick. I was like, mm -hmm. I don't know. Yeah, no, no. Okay. Armor shop is still alive. So it was the weapon oh, shop. I didn't know better, brother. First day, I'm gonna fucking kill that like, first day. All right, you're back at the potion shop. My friend, how's it going? How's it going? You lot are back. I just want to let you know we just came into that, that little <laughs> side conversations. Let's let's rein it in. Let's rein it in. Sorry. All right. Want to let you know we took care of that little goblin infestation for you. So I'll, hopefully we can let bygones be bygones and. Maybe I might be able to get another sip of your, of your fee potion. You want more <laughs> of the fee potion? My, my, I consider that a failed product, but if you want to pay, I don't know. It, I mean, it's not really for me. What do you I got? I already really love the hand I'd, I'd be willing to sell it to you if you got something to trade for. Um, so, so I guess, how do you feel about selling it for like 100 gold? Okay. Fractured blood, like it's, not even complete blood root. It's not complete. It's fractured. I, I feel like again, need to sweep the deal a little bit there. That's not enough okay. for me. Let's. I'll give you. I'll give you a flat top fractured blood root, a wolf spider, and and 
in an ash blossom. Huh. That doesn't like sound bad. Two swills. Two swills? Two swills. All right, I'll give you, I'll give you two potions of feet. Two potions of feet. Yeah. Okay. So Take all that out. And also, <laughs> so Scott, when I had boil in your cauldron, you didn't happen to, to put those off to the side for me, did you? Uh, we, it, it's been boiling for two days yeah, while you've been gone. Keep the <laughs> yeah, yeah, they're right here, and he just like pulls over a cauldron that just looks brown and gross and liquidy and like some weird meats in it. I'm going to mind if I grab your ladle. Yeah, go for it. I'm going to ladle out two of what I can mostly tell, hopefully, is the eyes that I left in there. Yeah, you get some brown chunks. I'll grab some brown, two brown chunks. Two brown chunks. Two brown chunks. <laughs> And then I'm going to I'm going to let the shopkeeper know if you ever sorry about my my friend friends here they can be kind of a rowdy bunch if you ever have any need of any more services you know who to call Mongo Mongo the Devotion Yeah I think I'll go a different direction I believe that was the armor shop. <laughs> I'm going to go feed the shopkeeper and say, hey, my stone egg is a real dragon egg. All right, go for it. You're walking into the weapon shop over here. I'm going to tell him it's a little genuine dragon egg. Dragon egg, you say? <laughs> <laughs> Let me see that. And he grabs it and starts just hitting it with his hammer a little bit, but like a little too hard. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so he starts hitting it a little bit, and it's like, hmm, what you need for it? I lied, because I thought it was tricking him, but if it's a real egg, I don't think it's going to have a dragon egg. So I'm going to snatch it back. <laughs> you snatch it out of his hand? But, but wait, I'll buy it. <laughs> <It's the worst. laughs> you can't just tempt me with that precious egg and then not let me buy it. <laughs> I yell out to the group, well, she's got a dragon egg. Okay. So you, so you guys do charity, or what? what's up with the little fella? <laughs> hmm. I'll, I'll let you grab any, any of this armor here in my shop that you want that fits you. Well, dosh, got it. <laughs> hey, isn't this pretty cool? Let's get it. <laughs> I thought Will said it was an egg, and I was like, cool, an egg, and I took it. And then I thought I it was a stone. So I was like, oh, that's, that's what I was told. It's a stone egg, it's a stone egg. I'm going to get a stone egg. Yeah, I'm keeping it. I'm going to keep it. Like, we'll get a stone All right. Are we good? Do we want to head to the level two? You are more than welcome to go and loot the weapon shop. I would like to loot the weapon shop. Everything in the weapon shop is very basic, common weapons that, frankly, you already have a common version of your weapon. If you ever lose one of your rapiers that are throwing it, though, you might want it there. Where the fuck is the weapon shop? I'm confused. Anybody want to stop here? I'm good. I could be one of these. Spears, and I think I want like a cool. You do not have yeah. proficiency in anything other than the type of weapon you are carrying. So oh, yours so would I be a rapier, and then it... well, if you want to be proficient. Uh, it's been essentially like a month or more in real human time. I remember we made a deal with someone here for clearing out the goblin, but I don't remember what the deal was. You made a deal with the innkeeper that he would let you stay at the inn for free whenever you wanted if you cleared out the goblin. Oh, that's pointless. That's... Yeah, completely. <laughs> <laughs> I remember this vividly, and I was, was like, I'm not really sure they'll need this, but. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I believe Stephen made the deal. <laughs> I think you were just kind of pushing it along. You were like, yeah, we'll go kill the guy. You guys, <laughs> at the same time, I tried for the, the other shops too. And they're like, oh, let's see what we do. 
So I'm here for the see what we can do for these these monsters just kind of slaughtered goblins right uh, the second they came into this place. So I don't think they were great on their deals. What do you guys think about killing the innkeeper? The innkeeper's like the cool that one. He, he's already, I just want to. We have repercussions for whatever we do. I just want to throw out, not only repercussions, but you guys also already tried this on the item shop guy who turned into a bear. <laughs> and he, it was horrible. And destroyed and no you. <laughs> DM, don't get back here. I am going to get the backup right here. Okay. And I'm going to leave the shop. And I also want to ask, can I have a perception check? Like... When you opened up the main map, I saw something really, 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 really far to the left side. There's nothing no. there. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. The, just the town that you guys are in. No. All right. Back to the weapon shop. I just exited the All right, well, can I get some stuff out of this weapon shop? Yeah. What do you want out of this? I don't even know what. Ember, what are we doing? I don't know. I was going to check if you have, like, gold behind the counter. You can go check behind the counter. Give me a, uh, let's go nature check. You're looting it. Why not? We're keeping it base. How did your eyes go? 13. You can, you can have a uh, hundred gold pieces. So, uh, can I go to the weapon shop and see if they have any magic? There's nothing magical in this weapon shop. Not even like this is level one. There's nothing in there, no. These are basic, common stuff. <laughs> you want the blue quill? Yeah, why not? <laughs> it's in parentheses, just put decorative, please. <laughs> There's no use for it other than just being role playing decorative. <laughs> All right. The last question I would like. Like to ask the item shop. Right. Just one last question for you. Mm -hmm. Perhaps have any potions that would make one feel more dexterous. You are now level four of one guy now. No. Okay. Are those aces, little? Then that's my last question. Are they what? Do you see the circle with the? Oh, that's a that's a pentagram. Oh, pentagram. I was like, what's an atheist carpet? Right. It's just a uh, cross with like it's crossed out. <laughs> 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 All right, are we good here? All right, so you guys are moving to the tower for level two. I'm down for it. All right, uh, yeah, we'll we just have an outside one for this one. The next one, I think we have an inside part. But this is the tower you guys walk up to as you. Enter into the tower, there's a portal in front of you, and as you walk into the portal, everything phases out as you move on to level two. But while we're doing it, let's pass out our level two abilities and everything. Woohoo! Let's go. I'm doing pretty good so far. Yeah, you're doing pretty good. All right, W, if we gotta have a conversation real quick. So if you don't say you're gonna say that you just put it in the down, it's going to happen. Right. Hold on, I'll, I'll give it to him. Yeah. This uh, is okay, we'll get definitely. Right. So, uh, Sebastian would have taken a whole bunch of bonus daggers from the weapon shop since he's good at costum, but he doesn't want to lose all of his daggers. So he's got extra ones. Okay. Yeah, so take, you. get, get grab two daggers. Or Question DM. Uh, Sebastian. Question DM. Yep. Would I be able to hand one of Amber? my daggers over to like Sebastian? And if you were to throw that dagger, would I be able to have that dagger appear back into my hand? I'm gonna say no. Uh, Ratma. <laughs> so you all have a added on abilities. Not all of them are great. Some of them are just slight passes right now that your character will scale to later. I've come up with different stuff for it. Some of them are don't seem that great, but they go with your character. Mm -hmm. My question for my character is if I'm Daddy. moving towards being a sort of a shield guy, do I know how to wear any kind of armor? You know, stuff like yes. That. You you can your character specifically can wear like plate heavy armor. Am I going to have Martin, to make it out six in mud or yeah. maybe a We'll get to armor eventually. <laughs> if you can find some, you can find some. And I don't know how to see it.
Heard everybody read through your skills. Acquaint yourselves with that. Um, as you go to level two, in front of you, a translucent screen before you see anything says, Level two start. Objective. Storm the impenetrable city and gain victory for the king of Sparta. And we're on to level two. This is your level up. Oh, yes. Let's let's each have you roll a D8 for me. Add your constitution to it, except for Stefan, who's going to roll a D10. Or a D12, my bad. Yep, your constitution modifier. Yeah. Yep. And you're just going to add that to your overall health. What do we got? Let's see what the health is going What do you got? Mine is pretty cool. Nice. <laughs> yep. Five. Five. Add it on your health. Brett, what do you got? Three. All right. One. Really? What's your constitution modifier? Oh, uh, Negative one. So now it's zero. Just one. Just one. Wait, can I add a, I roll a D8? I was reading your sheet. Yep, roll a D8. Wait, so we roll the D8 and we just use that and we add on to our health? Plus your constitution modifier. Plus Unless two. it's negative. Okay, so it's minus two and I roll a five, I get seven health. Yes. yes. Sweet. And then Rivera's going to roll a D12 and yeah, add that up. Yeah, I got five, so I'm going to add... Plus your con mod. Yeah, unless it's negative. So I don't have to get some. Okay, then nine, just five. Yeah. Yeah. accidentally. Yep. One. Keep going. With what? Yeah. Say that again. So, so you'll add another plus two. Another. We're making you more accurate over here. Anything else? As long as you're doing it with a ranged weapon, yeah. That's fine. Yeah. The objective of the map is it says level two start objective storm the impenetrable city and gain victory for the king of Sparta. No, no, no! You don't get to pick a side. You are on a side. You, you, you didn't. It didn't you tell. Didn't it, all it said know. was subjugate the monsters. How you dictated that was how you dictated that. You think no. <laughs> <laughs> Worked out, didn't it? <laughs> also, upon reaching level two, everyone in front of them they see a message and it displays: "You have unlocked the harvesting field guide." Inside the field guide now, once you unlock a potion, I will tell you what it does and the ingredients required to make it. You will also gain experience points for gathering ingredients and gain levels. I'll keep track of that and tell you when you gain a level in your skill. I like it. After if we keep gagging for vegetables and things. Yes. Okay. Might also be nice if you all right, you got the map. Also, guys, that might be a very good fibber. We have yeah, a fib one. Plus seven oh. to seven. Oh, yeah. All right. One more message here. We've talked about it, and in all fairness, we came down to a couple people. Um, Stefan Rivera is our MVP of level one, so he's gifted with an item to help him on level two, and hopefully the whole team. What was the determining <laughs> It was overall everything. It came down to when when W and I were talking about it. It came down to in the end, Rivera and Ember, between who would be MVP, and then our honorable mention was Sebastian because we felt like he really followed his sponsor with killing one woman and then never killing anything again. <laughs> We were like, that's pretty on par. <laughs> we were like, it was pretty on par, but we we felt like we felt like Ember and Rivera did the most to forward the story and play their character, but Rivera came out ahead. We will not be showing you on the screen and overall map, so. And the maps for this level are based on that map. To help you, yes.
Yes. yes. And as a bonus, <laughs> Rivera is now the captain of your platoon that you guys are in. He is allowed to, three times if wanted, give out an order to anyone he wants on the team, and they must follow this order. Is that perception per day? No, just three times total on this level. Oh, yeah, okay. it's just a bonus thing if you need to pull it out. Sweet. Yeah, let's go through it. Ango, what do you got? Let's start over there. So, I just really beautiful. I just have a smooth fucking talk. So, starting first level, I got a plus two flat bonus to all the deception and persuasion rolls, and a plus that same bonus to any performance roll as long as I'm visible to the crowd. I also am a very acrobatic man, and I gain, I gain the following benefits. I have advantage on dex checks and saving throws made to avoid falling or being knocked prone. If I fall no more than 10 feet, I'm essentially like a cat. I'll always land on my feet, won't take any damage, won't be knocked prone. And then <laughs> when I'm getting up from prone, it only costs me five feet of movement rather than half of my speed. A lot of them were based on the characters, and then some of them were like, I don't really want to give them an attack boost as much as I want their character to be more role playing. Mm -hmm. No, I'm fine with this. And then so, yours is specifically based on trying to make you into a tank. Yeah, because uh, so far uh, I'm not uh, exactly built for that. <laughs> I'm working on it. I'm working on it. So, uh, my, my new uh, passive ability is defense. When I'm wearing armor, I, armor, I gain additional uh, plus one my uh, AC. And I can, if, within, if I'm within five feet of someone who's been attacked and it's not me, I can use my reaction to impose disadvantage on the attack. Ooh! So you're actually like a, like a shield girl. You're just coming in. Yeah, it's like soaking some damage. Go. Love that. Today. I got no, 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 and in this case, I think I'd put shapeless, but it takes the form of a snake. Okay. And, uh, yeah, that's a bonus action for me. Um, the spirit can heal a number of times equal to one plus your spell casting ability modifier, then minimum twice after healing that number of times the spirit disappears. Okay, very nice. How one much plus your spell casting ability? So your wisdom? Or you what, you, what did you say? How much did it heal for? One plus uh, spell casting. Yep. So one plus spell okay, so it's gonna heal is your wisdom a plus two or plus three? So you're gonna be able to heal three times for three health. So not that's not bad. More, and it's and it's more, more more healing, essentially. It's a lot more healing yeah. and it's mobile. Yeah, a separate from yep. healing. And I don't have to bury it you. Yeah, it's passing on you from thirty feet away at you, right? So it's like another buddy and you right. just move over the top. Yeah, that's right. very, very helpful. All right. Yeah, really Amber? It's like raw. Mm -hmm. I can see mm -hmm. that. First, I got an additional plus two for archery, so I can add that to my proficiency able to check. So I'm like, oh, four, let's go. Yeah. And then I have fire arrow. So I fire a flaming arrow. When the arrow makes contact, it deals an extra 10 fire damage and catches on fire. Every turn it's on fire, it takes an additional extra six fire damage. Oh. So you can put out the fire by going from it and using a dexterity check. Now, is this a bonus action to talk a flame arrow? I can do it twice per day, but the other question I have is, is that an action, normal action? Yes, it, it wouldn't be like you light the arrow on fire and then you have to shoot it. It would just be you're casting fire. So, anti right. bonus action, hail of arrows, and then just shoot a flame arrow? I don't see why not. Some of the, I specifically <laughs> tried to tailor more people to be the damage dealers than I and then, although it, they said it lasts like until the next day. a minute, so it could, yeah. Pretty much. That's that turn. Basically, they can get rid of it if they stop trying to roll <laughs> properly. No, you mentioned what the health bar. Oh, okay. Yeah, she has one turn. She can do it like two turns. It's a bonus like that. And then she had to cast it. Yeah. All right, Rama. Okay, so I got a, I think it's a Choro Aura. And what I can do is it is a circle that's basically 20 feet around me. That I can heal 
using a bonus action to reduce an aura affecting allies within 20 feet of your of you that adds your proficiency bonus to any creature skill check. Mm. Attack roll or saving throw to anyone within the aura. So basically they get plus, plus three, two to everybody. Plus at two two. What was it? Your proficiency, right? Um, yes. Yeah, plus so plus two, two. That's to every person in the aura. It's That's a concentration, I think, for... Is there a concentration? What does that even mean? That means that if somebody hits you, they have a chance of bringing you out of the concentration. Then you have to cast it down. Okay. So you're basically beating on the drum, and you have to keep doing it while since, dodging people. <laughs> the number of times equal to your charisma modifier is only one, so I only can use it once? For now, yeah. Until a long rest? Yeah. Okay. So it's as you level up, life. as you level up, and your charisma modifier or something goes up, that's going to be really strong. Eventually, yeah. it will scale. Yeah. Yours should be the I, yeah. I like this. Oh, you're actually giving a subclass that niches the play. I found a lot of these on the Dungeons Dragons wiki that people have very customized classes for, and I was like, these some of these are pretty cool. No, these, this is nice. I like the way that they're forming up. Yeah, and it's hard. Broken stuff. Yeah, a lot of them are really broken. Oh, I was like, we got to work some differences in here. All right, what you got, Sebastian? All right, so second level, I learned simple magic, so it's just me, but with stealth and secrecy. Uh, I choose a mundane trinket, trinket, so I chose a channel lock. Um, this trinket, I can use your action to cast an invisibility spell on myself using charisma as my spell casting ability. Once I do though, I have to, I can't do it again for a long rest. And now I'm a stylish villain, so uh, my spell protection is still relying on my swift sense and charm to get me out of my bad situation. If I'm wearing no armor and not using my shield, my AC is equal to 10 plus dexterity and my charisma modifier. Oh, oh shit. shit. What is your dex and your charisma? What's the modifier for them? One and if it's a negative, don't worry about it. Oh, two. So that'd be plus three total AC to so thirteen AC. Thirteen AC with no arm. With no arm. What was he at before? What's his AC? I'm just scared to shoot. Yeah, so you get another two AC. Yeah. It's at uh one. No, 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 what's his deck? Yeah, 11. so he gets another two AC, so you could make it 13 on a sheet. Right. And then that'll go up if his deck or whatever goes up. Yeah. That's impressive. And we then Frogman, what do we got? Yay! I don't remember what Frogman has. Get Yay. it, read it out. Most people today have heard of Merlin. No, we, we don't need the whole script. We just need his new ability. Oh, okay. <laughs> first level shapeshift. At the first level, you may change into the form of a group. Mm-hmm. We got that. Put the second one on there. We just handed you a second sheet, didn't we? This one down here at the bottom. I was like, I know we just handed you a second sheet. That should happen. Yeah, read the identity Yeah. You carry over some additional portions of your persona into your shapeshift form. While shapeshifting, while, while shapeshifted, you can speak any language you know. Oh, yeah. When you shape shift, <laughs> I try to make you it more alter cheap. your new form's superficial appearance to more closely reflect your true nature. Now he can truly be a raven. Be a raven. Okay. <laughs> yeah. For example, if you have a signature hairstyle, pointy ears, where he's got a lot of those things. He's got a lot of those things. He's gonna love the role play of it as your shape shifted forms can take on some different. Nice. Also, you guys said that there was a thing above that too, but I didn't know if it was you or not. Let me see. Rattling rush. I think that's new. I don't remember him mentioning. Yes, adrenaline rush is new. Adrenaline rush. When you roll for initiative, you can immediately use your shapeshift each feature as a reaction. Oh, hell yeah. yeah. You are not already shapeshifted, and you are not surprised. Yeah, so as long as no one surprises you and he's not already shapeshifted, the second you guys roll initiative, he could just be like, I'm in raven form. So he can just soak yeah. that damage immediately. You may not shapeshift this way if you have no more uses of your shapeshift feature. 
Yes. I'm assuming you're gonna get more of those shifts and abilities through as we go on. Yes. Yes. I yeah. I didn't want to take too big of a leap to level two. Level two isn't as m it's still got quite a bit of combat, but it's more the it's gathering limited. tool added it and everything. It's limited because we have less charges, but it gets stronger yes. as we go. And on. some of you got bigger buffs than other with your damage that so I, I wanted to like keep everything a little bit. Wait, what? Oh. Getting taller. Yes, you still have like another day or two, I feel like. All right. On that. And so does the four feet. Yes. <laughs> so Ratman. <laughs> we just didn't, went over this, man. You gained one HP. That's Remember, you rolled a one? Oh, he rolled a one? Yeah. Do you have a constitution bonus? No, I Oh, no, yeah, it was David that rolled a one. What's your health there? All right, roll oh. a D8. Four. And All right, add your constitution modifier. No, I definitely need to. So don't, don't worry about so that. Just four. So four just four. So just now your health is at 11. Maximum health. Hell yeah. All right, and that brings us to 257, so I think that's a good place to call it. I'm going to share one thing that I forgot to. Inside your field guide, one potion did come with it. You guys, not everybody knows that I'm in a lesser potion of health. As an action, you may sip this ruby shimmering potion and restore 1d10 HP. We know how to craft it. Yeah, oh, yeah, that's coming it? next. Yeah. And this is called a what again? Lesser health potion. Right there. Lesser potion of health. So do we have to roll a D10 or just have a D10? Yeah. Alright, ingredients? The ingredients is either a mushroom and a flask of water. So just put one mushroom flask of water. Or you may also use a red berry and pour it in a flask of water. And is there <laughs> anything special about the flask of water right here, or you just take water and that's it? You guys will be finding many. As long as it's in a flask, yeah. Yeah. Like you buy a flask to put water in a yep. mission and not yeah. just pump special puddles for. Correct. No, nah, just just water. water yeah, just that. normal water. <laughs> or is it empty? Tell me. Yeah, tell me about it. All right, are we good? I do have one. All right. We will continue with level two starting next week on Sunday. Uh, thanks for watching, everybody. And remember, we have our streams that we do throughout the week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, our LAN party Thursday, and then D&D &D on Sunday. We have our podcast that goes up on YouTube, Spotify, and Apple Podcast, along with a bunch of reels that we throw up on YouTube and TikTok. You can check us out on our New School Gaming on all that and New School Project on Twitch. Uh, just so you know, merch dropped. Our website is in the description on our YouTube, Twitch, everything. Go over to our link tree that's attached there anywhere you want to go. That links to our website. It's on there. It's got logo on the front, us animated on the back. I'm not turning around this time. You'll see it no more streams. <laughs> High quality stuff, but it's uh, limited sizes to so make sure you get them fast. But yeah, thanks for watching, and we'll be back next week. We'll see you guys later. Thank you so much. Thank you. Have a good one. Have a Super Bowl.